one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today, it's the last year of Datsun, it's the first year of Nissan. It's an 82. It's a Datsun B210 wagon or a Nissan Sentra wagon. It's a one or a two owner, it's only got 55,000 original miles. What I'm gonna do here is go around it, show you any of the ins and outs and just everything about it. Um, any dings, dents, or anything like that. And there's not much to talk about. I'm gonna do a quick once around and kind of just show you once around the car to where you can see it from every angle. The car is beautiful, it's in great shape. Whoever had this car took care of it like no other. Um, it runs down the road nice. It's a great running little car. Um, not a lot to go wrong on them and very reliable, very fuel efficient. This is a nice car. Um, other than that, I can't, when going around it like this, I can't even think of anything to say bad about it. It's just clean as can be. It's as straight as can be. And I'm going to go up close and show you any kind of a thing like that that's wrong with it. Dings, dents, and damages and stuff like that. If you're interested, it's Nathan, 406-546-8748. A year later, I ain't got the car no more. It's going to go quick. Um, you can check my website out in about a week, oneownercarguy.com. And on there, you'll see all the pictures and everything. Underneath this car, clean as can be. Clean as can be. A little damp gasket on that. A little bit. Look at how clean the wheel well moldings are. Just amazing. And this is plastic. It's plastic and it's that clean. Um, tow hooks, that's awesome. Most American cars don't even have that. This is wrinkling up a bit over time as they get. The foam is in great shape. Um, grill and everything's in great shape. The paint's coming off the Nissan thing there a little bit. Um, it's clean. Even these, they usually get all cracked and fractured in them because they're plastic. This thing's been garaged. This thing, it's been in the garage. That's all there is to it. This is a garage classic. And if you'd have told me I'd have been saying that 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, my, my, my response would have been a little bit more vulgar the longer ago it was. Going down the sides of this car, it's just straight as can be. Missing a door handle. Right here. And I'm going to come back down and show you the damage. There's a little bit of damage here. Little scratches. He like ran it down something or a little bit, kind of. Don't know. Um, little scratch there. I thought it was bird dung or beeswax. A little chip there. Keyed thing. Takes the same key as the uh, ignition and the door. Uh, the top. It's nice. As clean as can be. Tiny ding there. There's a couple little spots right there, right there, right there, right there, where there was a little scratch or a chip and the guy touched them up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but he actually touched them up. Any little spots anywhere on this car. The front of this car, it's just clean as can be. I don't think it's had any paint work. This car is straight and clean as can be. I need to take some more pictures looking down the hood like that. God, that looks amazing. Dings. Not a whole lot to talk about. There's a ding right there. There's a ding right there, tiny, tiny. I'm being very picky. I want you to see anything. You're a long ways away. There's a couple little dings. There's a little one there, and a couple tiny ones there. And that door. And that's about all there is to talk about. Yeah, there's a couple that I showed you there. That's about it. I'm um, tires, look at these tires. Little titties all over the sides. Little maker's marks in between them still. These tires have just been put on a little while ago. And like I say, wheel wells, just as clean as can be. So, foam on the back, clean as can be. Spoilers underneath, like that, just nice. Look at that, man. So clean. Super clean car. Have I said that yet? I think I have. Now, this gets interesting here. Datsun. Nissan, Nissan, and this used to say Nissan, that's the Sentra. So, yeah, what is it? I don't know. It is what it is, though. <laughs> and it's beautiful. And it's a great running little car, like I said. We'll go for a little test drive and everything. I'm going to do a different one of the interior, show you all that. Going down the side, got it straight. I think there's a teeny ding back here somewhere. This is starting to chip, peel. A little bit just on that back piece the rest is fine um, and this right here I was gonna touch it up but it has no touch up that I know of on it 
So I really didn't want to. Kind of a few tiny chips there where you'd open the door into something. But just clean as can be. A little scratchy marks or something. This stuff is even still in good shape. A guy could um, shape this up even. Oh, wow, look, yeah. The black stuff comes off. So I didn't even scrub this down. If you degrease this and scrub it down, see that black comes right in this. People are like, your nails are disgusting. Yeah, because I'm doing that. Holy smokes, I almost got bit. Chip, little chips here, little chips there. Tiny little chip here. Tiny little chip here. Just nothing to really talk about on that. A couple chips on the wipers. I almost painted those. Um, the wipers and the mirrors could be done. It would look just amazing. Um, that kind of stuff usually does fade faster. Uh, okay, I'm just going to say... Oh, there's a ding in the door. Right there. I get all happy when I find a ding. I'm going to say there's ding somewhere, but not that many. It's clean. It's straight. Rust! Come on. You know, rust on this car. It's still got the factory chip guard. Look at that. It gets into the rough stuff there. Factory chip guard. It's just such a clean car. It's so nice. If you're, oh man! I put little stuff on it, man. I had this all cleaned up. I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, that's that. That's going around the outside. And all the stainless or chrome or whatever this is, it's all in great shape everywhere going down there. On the sides, the car's got a good look to it. Great look to it. And that's that. I'm going to think on this for a second. If there's anything else I'm forgetting, I don't think there is. I'm going to walk towards... Look at that car! I'm going to take a couple pictures and then we're going to jump in. I'm going to run up to the Walmart. And in doing so, I'll get some stuff while I'm up there. But I'll do a um, some pictures here and we'll get it all going. It's a beautiful car. Be back in a second. Okay, that's it. I'm going up to the store, so I will... Do it to it. Look at all the original temp plex. All the original glass in it and stuff. Just awesome. The glass is all in good shape. Um, there's a little something right there. And it doesn't really bug. I thought there was actually a little water. I would have never seen it. But I thought there was a drip on the windshield. But I think maybe they had a chip repair or something. The, um... You can hear sometimes, I think there's a little shield on the exhaust that's a little bit loose. The car's, the car's a driver, man. It just goes. It's, it's not got no 300 horse. It's got, I bet you it's under 100, but it goes. And it shifts when it should. It stops when it should. It drives like it should, which is the main thing. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. And right now, the main thing is, this car runs good. Okay, so, I think this does it. Turns on a dime. Turns on a dime. Serious. Okay, so I think I'm going to go to the Walmart in the car in the, through town. And then I'll try and do back from Walmart, and we'll catch the freeway real quick, maybe? I don't know. But I'm gonna do the interior video on this car, and I haven't done that yet. I gotta take interior pictures, then the exterior. Uh, yeah, I'm just clipping right along. Now, if you haven't seen my channel much, you need to subscribe. Go down to where it says Cereal Marshmallows. Ooh, nice car. 57. Go down to where, this car is gonna appreciate value, just like that. Four doors, 57s. Used to, you couldn't give away a four door 57. Nowadays, they're all the two-door 57s and convertible 57s cost so much, the four-doors cost big money. Now, wagon has always been a rare beast. The sedans in these cars are to die for. People love them. And the, and the little sedan, oh God. A wagon? A wagon is unheard of, especially in this shape. This car is absolutely beautiful. I hate to say flawless, perfect, mint, stuff like that, because nothing in life that's how old is this car? Is it 40 years old? It's 34, 36, 37 years old. Nothing that's 37 years old is perfect. That's all there is to say about that. So, heck, my ex is 37 years old. She's far from perfect. I'm just saying that in a 
a uh, personality way, not as a person way, so whatever. Okay, so here we go. We got this going on. I'm gonna go in here to Wally Mart and I'll park over here, I think. This car just drives spectacular. Nothing I can say bad about it. I absolutely enjoy this car and I enjoy driving it. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of little import. We used to just, this was an import. And the Europeans were Europeans. And now, I don't know what to call it. But I'm not a big fan of it. But I'm a fan of this one because it is clean. So, that's that. I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for watching. There's an alarm on it. Doot, doot. Kind of funny. And, but actually, this is just the kind of thing that'll get stolen too. Okay, so that's the deal. Beautiful car. It runs great. I, I hate to say like new and mint and all that, but this one's nice. That's all there is to say about it. So if you're interested, call me up, 406-546-8748. If you're looking for something unique, I can find something unique. But the thing is, my uniques are so random, it's pitiful. Once I sell this, if you ask me to find another one, I'm never going to find another one. I'm never going to see another one in this shape that looks this good ever. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. Got my Walmart groceries with me here today. And I'm here to do a Nissan, I don't know, is it a 310, 210, or a Sentra, or a Datsun? I don't know. It's one or two owner. It's clean. It's 55,000 original miles. Whoever had this thing, they took care of it. I'm gonna do a quick walk around, kind of show you around the car, give you once around, and then I'll show you the inside. And then we're gonna take it on home, and I'll give you a test drive in it. Uh, mainly, I want to show you the inside, under the hood, and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, beautiful car. Great shape. And it's straight. It is so straight. I love doing reviews of older cars like this. It's just awesome. They, they, they do something for me. Newer stuff don't matter. And, and older stuff like this, it wouldn't matter either. But being so clean, it matters. So, if you're looking for one, this is it. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm going to go around and show you inside and show you all the seats. Maybe we'll lay the back down, stuff like that. Hopefully I've got my keys. Clean as can be. Look at this. The seat's just absolutely beautiful. Now, this thing... I see this a lot, where you get one cigarette that's been done on it. I almost guarantee it happened at the auction. The car doesn't have any smell of smoke or anything like that. The floors, look at this. It's just in great shape. Under the floor mat, this stuff hardly has anywhere, anywhere. Hey, get it? This here, pedals just clean as can be. Even the stuff around the console isn't cracked. There is a little mark there. It looks kind of like a burn hole, but it's... It must, I'm serious. I see that so much where it happens at the auction. It's the only kind of flaw in it except for on the back of this seat. Um, dash and everything is in great shape except for the speaker. And I'm going to show you. It's a little dried out right there. But you could do anything to it you wanted. But it's in great shape. Look there. The speaker is the only thing where there's a crack right there. Other than that, it's clean. It's straight. Hang on. I've got to set this down. And you can look at those beautiful door panels in between. Look at that. Door panels are just nice as can be. Um, nice car. I like it. Headliner. It looks clean. It looks nice. It's all there. It's as intended. And such. Let's show you in the back. This one is curled up. Right here just a little bit. Oh, wow. Looks like it could be just... It can. I sit there and tinker with that and get it back down. Um, this is the only rip I've found is the one there and there. And if it's what you so want and desire, I can get the back of this seat fixed. My guy will pull this cover off and he does that for 80 to 100. Um, and the whole interior would look absolutely beautiful. Um, this seat, just nice as can be. Um, hey. Dotson. Dotson and a Nissan, same year, weird. Pull that, these come up and they'll lay down. 
lots of room. Uh, let's get this open up for you. Actually, it's got a car alarm too. Beep, 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 and it works. And this here actually stays up the way it should. Can you imagine that? Got the original book here. Kind of cool. And this, the repair manual, which is super cool. So that's nice. This is falling apart in a few places. This stuff's thin in the, when they get old. But in those places, it's falling apart. This one's in really good shape. I actually opened that. There we go. It's got the little pocket in there. Oh, to get to the lights. And this one works too. Lay them down anytime you want. Wish I'd have cleaned this up. It's a little dust on it. I'm the kind of guy that leaves them in there in accident. Same key works for this. It works for the door and everything else. Now, I don't know that there's been paint work at all. I don't believe there has. It looks all original. And this guy even touched up little stuff with like the nail polish one. A couple on the roof I show in the exterior video. It's just clean as can be. It's a very clean car. And this seat and everything about it is in great shape. All the door panels just nice. Oh! I showed you that in the other video. The door panel, the door handle, actually I have it. It's in the um, glove compartment. But it's not I think you need a new one. <laughs> That's the only thing it really needs though. There you go. Clean in here too. Just a clean car. Carpets, everything, just clean. To be quite honest, to be quite honest, I did not even vacuum this car. Didn't vacuum it. So, there we go. That's the car. One owner car guy. One owner car guy.com. We're gonna go for a test drive. I gotta get back to my place. I'm grabbing my Walmart food, in case you're wondering why I'm walking at such a weird angle. But I'm trying to multitask. I've just got to multitask. And I didn't want to make a video of it with the... That just looks tacky, doesn't it? But, look at this. Yeah, buddy. Oil change sticker. The guy took care of his car, I believe. I really do. And I'll tell you what. 55, 125, it says it's due. Look at that beautiful sky. This thing starts so nicely. Look at that. It's just amazing. Okay, where am I at? I've got to figure out how to get out of here. Drives like a champ. Just a champ. Okay, so. Now, it's just a great driver. Um, it has AC. Factory AC. Which is a little odd because it has the manual roll-up mirrors. Uh, no PS and all that. And like at the same time, it's an AC equipped car. So that's that's different. It really is. It's cool. I'm not complaining. And it's one of the nicest things to have at least depending on where you live. Woo buddy! This car gets up and goes. It's in great shape. It runs great. This guy's gonna come over on me, I thought. I need to get a picture of the uh, miles because it's 55,000. It's just hardly any miles. It's not getting hit by a train. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. 55,000 miles. Okay, here we go. You put down your foot a little bit and this thing picks up and goes. And when it gets to the next RPM it's supposed to shift at, it shifts. The car drives Amazing. Um, come on. 55,000 miles. Of course it drives amazing. This thing ain't even broken in. These things go for 300,000 miles sometimes. It's just probably more than that. I just ain't interested in driving nothing for 300,000 miles. A little variety. Which is exactly what this car is good for. This is a great second car. It's a great daily driver too. This is what talking to me and my buddy. This is a lifetime car. This is the kind of car you buy. And the neat thing about it is you can maintain them so cheap. 
parts for this car are just so cheap. And honestly, you can do anything you need to do to this car yourself. I mean, anything. I mean, and reasonably, it's not hard. Um, engines, transmissions, all that. You can get ones that are rebuilt and just install them in your garage. I mean, cheap. Definitely a cheap little car to work on. I hit a button on my camera there and lost everything. So, on the way back, I'm just making a quick little video. I'll tell you, it's a nice car. I know I'm just raving that over and over. You can call me if you're interested. It's 406-546-8748. name's Nathan. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube here. I do daily videos. Every day there's something on here new. And I always do weird, oddball cars that you're just not going to find anywhere. I was saying that in another thing I was doing. I'm just, I'll never find another car like this. Never. There's no way. And I'll get somebody that calls me about this in a couple years and they just want it really bad. And I'm not going to have it. They're going to ask me to look for one. I can't look for one. It's not even worth looking for one. I'm not going to find one. Okay, I cut it off for the light. Now, it has AC, but the AC doesn't blow. Now, whether it blows cold or not, I don't know, because it just don't blow. Now, that's connected to a, another thing that's the same exact problem as everything. The WAC windshield wiper does work. So that works. The radio, the radio does not work. Now, there's two or three fuses this does not work. Um, the heat gauge does not work. The fuel gauge does not work. Now I know that it's not getting hot or nothing because I drove this to Simi Valley from Anaheim in traffic. So look it up. I think it's about 70, 60 or 70 miles. It's about an hour and 50 minutes in traffic. And it's a long, it's a long hour and 50 minutes because you expect to be going 70 and you're going like zero at sometimes. So I know it doesn't overheat, and the horn does not work, and the blinkers do not work. So wipers work, horn and blinkers don't work. I don't know about that defrost button. Didn't try it. It has the lines in the back window. Um, so yeah, it needs a little work on that kind of stuff. And not a huge, huge problem. And for the right person, just an easy deal. Now, I know there's three fuses that are not working on it, but I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing nothing to it. It's just, I'm leaving it like it is, pretty much. That's what I'm going to say. I actually got to back this in. Well, that's it. I got it back here, got the hood pop, and check this out, baby. <whistles> Absolutely beautiful. It's almost a spotless engine compartment. I mean, look at this. Just absolutely amazing how clean this car is. Whoever had this took very, very good care. Oh, it needs a CV joint or whatever that is for the steering. Very cheap on eBay, very easy to work on. And it's not the end of the world, just the boots split. So you don't want to get dust in there and get it all messed up. I think the head's been done on it because the head is shiny and it looks like it's been redone, like re-cleaned up and everything. And there's gasket jizz all over here, all over the back, around the exhaust and all over the front by the thing. So, it looks like it's been redone on the head. And just clean, look at this! All the original emission stickers and everything. 1.5, and look at this, Datsun, Nissan, Datsun. So I don't know what kind of car it is. I've been told Datsun, I've been told Nissan. Look, there's a Tushiwaki, or whatever. That says Nissan up top too. Nissan on the oil, Nissan on the side of the engine. They were thoroughly confused by this year. The light's coming up, so it's just actually a great time to get some pictures of this. But I wanted to get pictures while it was shadowy, and it's kind of messing up my pictures. But that's the deal. Thanks for watching. One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. All kinds of interesting cars, and this one is a cheap special that I'm sure you'll love. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. We'll talk to you.